What's up guys, it's Nuwan aka Curly Guy here and I am b -b 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 back with another video and as you guys can see I am in great spirits today. So before I get into what this video is about, I'm just going to give you guys an update. Today is June 10th and um, around 2021 and I just got my Instagram back today you guys. This has been such a tedious process and I'll go into that in another video, I don't want this video to be weighed down by that but I did finally get my Instagram back and um, there are a few things that I still have to do as far as making my Instagram recognizable with my profile picture and just a few things changing it back to my original name Curly Guy um, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or if it will be my name Dewan you know um, but anyway I got my Instagram back you guys and I'm so excited about that so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this video as you can see the name of this video, by the title of this video, it is me showing you how I diffuse my hair. Now, right now, my hair is up, and my hair is probably 95% dry. And so, this is a thing that I've been doing lately that's really switched up the game for me. It's made my hair routine much simpler um, and easier to do. So, so, basically what I've done, my mirror is over here, by the way, you guys. So basically what I did was, I did my hair last night um, and I pretty much let it air dry most of the way. What I've discovered is that if I allow my hair to air dry 90%, 90, 95% first, it minimizes the amount of frizz that I get once my hair is dry. If I go straight in diffusing from wet hair, like soaking wet hair or even damp hair, it tends to frizz up a lot more. I feel like it's just more manipulation. It's also more heat on my hair unnecessarily. So, um, yeah, my hair, as you can see, I think my hair looks good like this. All I did was just took it down, as you guys see. Now, the main parts of my hair that's wet is still kind of the roots. Um, the ends are dry for the most part, which is good because when you're diffusing and stretching your hair, you don't really want to put heat on the ends of your hair. Um, because you want those to those curls to stay intact and keep as much form as possible. So what you're actually really going for is just stretching out the roots, um, which is why it makes sense for my hair to be damp at the roots because I'm drying my hair. I'm not just putting heat on dry hair, you know, drying it out, making it damaged, if, if you will. So this is a relatively easy process. What I do is I just split my hair and I pull one side of it away like just pull one side of it out the way and then I go in on the other side so I'm gonna show you guys what I do so all you really need for this process is a scrunchie as you can see I have some clips really only one clip and then a heat protectant um, even though I'm diffusing and that is kinda indirect heat I still like to apply a heat protectant just to protect my hair anyway and it really you know can't hurt anything so I just like to apply a little bit of heat protectant so to start this process, all I do is pull out a section like so, take my clip and twist this hair out of the way like so. And then I just go in with the diffuser. Now this is the, the InStyle diffuser. I've had this one for a few years now at this point. Um, and I really like this diffuser. I'm thinking about purchasing the Dyson I just haven't brought myself to do it yet, but I'm thinking about it anyway. So what I like to do is pull the hair down and then just go directly into the roots for just a few seconds, you know, about maybe 30 seconds just to get it stretched out and that will be that. So I'm just going to show you guys what that looks like. And immediately, you guys can see the difference. There is more length. The hair also now has more body because it's been stretched out. And I live for that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do this side. You guys can just watch that. And if you guys are wondering, when I do this, now I try to minimize the amount of heat that I use. But I do um, diffuse on the highest heat setting and the highest airspeed just so I can get it done faster. 
if you guys were wondering. And as you guys can see, like I said, I'm not targeting my ends because I don't want to manipulate them or mess up all that curl definition down there. I'm only going maybe two to three inches down from the root. As you can see, it's really bouncy, and I'm just going to try to see. I don't know, because I've had this scrunchie on here. It may have distorted a little bit, but I'm just going to try to show you guys just the difference. As you can see, this side is much fuller. It's lighter. It's fluffier. The curls are more bouncy, and there's no cast on my hair, whereas this side does have a little bit of cast. It's not as full, and it's, as you can see, a little bit more shrunken. So that's pretty much that. What I'm going to do is go ahead and do this side off camera, and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final results so stay tuned okay guys i'm back and this is my hair completely done it's all diffused and dry my hair is now 100 percent dry and as you can see it's just a much better shape it's fuller it's bouncier it's just overall how i like for my hair to look and i just found this technique out through trial and error um there was no video tutorial or anything i've seen anywhere that showed me this technique i just thought like Maybe if my hair is already dry, the stretching process will be a lot easier. And as you can see, these results are it for me. Um, yeah, so I always do this for my wash and goes now. Um, and I find that doing this not only makes my wash and go look better, but it minimizes the single strand knots that I get. Because when your hair is more stretched, it's less inclined to, I guess, tangle up or coil up around each other. So, I really love to do this. I have not had as much shedding since I've been doing this. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial, I guess you could say. Um, like I said, I do have my Instagram back. So, I will be posting stuff over there. Um, you guys can also follow me on TikTok if you care about that. Um, yeah. And thanks for watching, guys. If you like to give it a thumbs up, also subscribe if you have not. And just remember, guys, if you can't keep it curly... Keep it classy. Bye, guys. I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>